everyone, it is Tuesday, 22nd of March. Um, I'm currently out for a walk, just recovering from the youth sleepover on Saturday evening where not much sleep was had. Um, I hope you had an amazing weekend and you're doing well. Um, today, we're actually gonna be talking about good news. It's something that is quite absent in our media in newspapers, we don't hear much good news going on in the world right now. Um, and for all of us, good news can mean different things. For some people, it might be being offered a new job. For others, it might be your, your football team signing a, a new player. And it quite simply could be finding out you're having pizza for dinner. We all consider different things as good news. Um, and today we're going to be looking at a passage in Isaiah, Isaiah 52. Um, and it says this. It says, how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes burst into song of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. This has always been one of my favorite passages. I love the verse, how beautiful on the mountain are the feet of those who bring good news. I think it's such a beautiful passage and I think when I well when I was younger I had um, someone in my church had a prophetic word for me that I was going to be an evangelist that I was going to share the good news with others and it's something I've always had a heart for always wanted to pass on the good news that was passed on to me to other people um, in the hope that it would transform their life um, that's always been my passion um, and I think reading this passage through again, I asked myself a couple of questions. Why are the feet beautiful? I think it's simply because they're carrying a beautiful message. And it gives this image that, not of perfect, pristine feet, but actually battered and bruised feet, because they've been carrying this message far to lots of different people. And the other question I asked was, well, what is the good news? What is the news that is being carried? And in this particular context, Jerusalem, well, um, Jerusalem had just been destroyed by Babylon. Most of the people of Israel had left in exile and there were just a few left in the city and they had felt abandoned. Um, they felt like God had abandoned them and they couldn't see where he was in all of this. And so for them, the good news is, and this, this is in verse seven or eight, it actually says that God still reigns. That was the good news and it brought them comfort. It brought them comfort because they, they were told God is still there. He hasn't abandoned them. He still reigns. But the other things it, it says about the good news is it's about a message of peace and a message of salvation. And what I found most interesting was that the Hebrew word for salvation here is Yeshua, which many of us will know is the, where we get the name Jesus. Another title we're given for Jesus is Prince of Peace. So in the simplest way, Jesus is our message. He is our good news. And what's so great about that is when we're carrying the message of Jesus. We don't have to do it just in word. We can do it in deed, in action. We can carry Jesus in our actions and we can reflect his glory and his light wherever we are with whoever we're with. And that's something we can all do, not just people who may identify as an evangelist, but everyone who follows Jesus. We can carry the message of him to the world. Um, at the end of this poem in Isaiah, um, God refers to someone as his servant who is going to come and amaze the nations and shut the mouths of kings by how amazing he is. 
that's who that's the that's the message we're carrying we're carrying the message of someone who has been to earth and is the best news that the world has to has to hear someone who has brought salvation victory peace and my word don't we need peace right now what an honor it is that we get to carry that message of peace in this very time we're in so i wonder this today this week do you want to be someone who carries the good news into wherever you are in your workplace in your school in your home and are you willing kind of to take a bruising when it doesn't maybe play out how you think it will um, so yeah let's pray together now as we think about how we're going to carry that good news into our week father i just want to thank you for sending your son jesus to be with us thank you that he brings peace and salvation to a world and people who really need it and jesus thank you for choosing us as your children to partner with us in bringing that good news to the rest of the world jesus would you fill us with your spirit now and give us any all of the resources we need to go and fulfill that mission pray for everyone who's watched this video this morning that you would use them to bring good news to the people around them and that people around them would notice the difference in that person and they would look towards you be with us today jesus amen all right catch you guys soon